YouTube, so today, uh, this week I'm really busy and a lot of things are happening and I really want to update you guys and since I made this commitment to make a video blog every Thursday, I decided to do it again today. And um, actually, I recorded a video previously but I forgot that my SD card is not on my camera, so I have to do this all over again. And yes, um, so last week I joined a uh, joint university outstanding marketing award in Hong Kong, so it, it's actually an award or a competition, case competition among all the universities in Hong Kong. Or marketing universe, uh, marketing competition. Yeah. So basically, uh, uh, we won the gold award and the best presentation award, and we're really happy about it because um, there's only four awards: gold, bronze, silver, gold, silver, bronze, and best presentation award. And when we know that we got the best presentation award, we were kind of happy since we get we got an award, but we were kind of uh, discouraged because we, we were thinking that we would not get the third or second or first. Because um, most of the time, when you get a best presentation award. It might hint that you might not get the first award. But then, I mean, out of our expectation, we got the best performance that we could have. We got two awards, and we're really happy about it. And I really want to thank those people who have helped us, support us during the world show, making the video, liking our video, because those really count to the final score. So, um, what happened in the competition was that we submitted a business plan or executive summary to, to the, uh, the panels, and then they this, uh, uh, they chose 10 finalist teams from 450 teams in Hong Kong, so it's actually pretty tough. Then we have a world show, and then we were in Hong Kong trying to get people to download an application. Then we um, made an advertising video, <coughs> Sorry. and then we need people to help us like it. And so we were, it was really tense, and then we did a final presentation on the final, on the closing ceremony of the, uh, of the competition. So it was really a great experience, and, really, and I really want to thank those people who helped. And the next thing I want to say is that I want to say happy birthday to my dad. So it's actually his birthday today. And really, his birthday today. And last last week, it was actually my grandma's birthday. And so um, in my last video blog, I promised I'll talk about solitude. So I offer, I'll tell you, share with you some experience that I used to do with solitude. And I think there's a book outside about solitude, and you can check it out, which I forgot the name. And um. So basically, when I'm sitting alone or when I have to eat lunch alone, which always happens lately, what I'll do is to, the first thing, I will look around and observe my environment. Because um, most of the time you'll be prone or you will um, most likely take out your smartphone, you go to 9Gag, you go to YouTube, or you go to Facebook and stalk other people. But the thing is, uh, it might not be a good thing because um, what's the point of clicking on your phone while you're living at the moment. So what you should do, not exactly what you should do, but what I would do is to look around and observe my environment and I see how people interact and all this stuff. And actually my grandfather had, had this habit of going to McDonald's every afternoon time. So he would look around and for three hours sitting there to observe the people. <clears throat> and uh, the next thing is that you could actually reflect on the things you did. You could tell yourself, hey, how has the day been? And, do you have anything you could improve and so on? So you can actually self-talk or self-reflect to yourself about how life has been you, has been fair you and all that stuff. But it's really important that you sort of talk to yourself positively because if you think positively, it sort of changes everything. So basically this video blog is gonna be really short and it's kind of not organized because I'm in a rush and but then it has the essence of a video blog. It's just something that in prompt, just made up. Uh, not exactly made up, but yeah, not planned. So anyways, I want to share with you the joy. Um, so this is actually the award. Yeah, it's, uh, it's the Best Presentation Team Award. And I really want to thank those that helped and all that stuff. And yeah. And also, lately I've been kind of unhappy since my midterms are not really good. And uh, I guess it means that next time I have to do better. Yep. And basically I think that's all it. Because... Um, I don't think I have anything to do. So uh, please feel free to check out my channel next week, which I'll think about posting another video, even though I'm like really busy. Yeah, you know, midterms, project, quiz, and all that stuff. So thank you for watching, and feel free to subscribe, comment, send me a message or anything. And, oh, anyways, one more thing. Um, what I really learned from the marketing competition was that it is really important that you sell the belief of a product instead of selling the product itself. It's like selling the brand. That's why successful brands are like Apple, Google, and so on are really successful. They sell the belief. Yeah. Anyway, see you guys next week. Bye.